Okay, so what I last time I looked at this drawing was using cold water. So let's let's route the hot water in on the first level. What I'm gonna do is route the hot water on the first level, and from the first level I need to rise up in this plumbing chase and supply the four what have I, what have I got seven sinks on the second level okay there's only cold water being shown now so what needs to be done is the hot water needs to go up to the first go up to the second level after I'm going to supply the first level okay so let's see I think that what might also be a good idea is to I'm going to type VV and turn on the mechanical because there could be something in the way um, that I'm going to need to look at if, when the mechanical system is on. Okay, so you see the mechanical system. Uh, let's make sure I got everything. Uh, what is this, the first level? What needs to be done is looking at the view range. I am going to, uh, my view range is somewhere in here. <laughs> okay, it's here. So I'm going to go to, this is level 1 up to 12, but what I'm going to do is go to level 2 and set this offset at 0, okay? So that we can cover the entire from floor to floor uh, space, you see. So I was missing some of the some of the looks like some HVAC pipe in here. Let's turn on the linked. This is the linked where I can select links off and on. And this is a link. So looks like my pipe is going through another pipe. Uh, so I'm I'm doing tab tab just to see. That's, Okay, this hot water return. Heat and hot water return. Uh, yeah, it looks like, so we can coordinate this system. So I need to go over a little bit, go up. And to do that, let's see, I'm gonna use my arrow keys and see if I can clear that. Clear, 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 clear. Oh, okay. So there's a little bit of a, I don't have much room here. Uh, let's see, can I, see this is all coordinated. So you have to be able to know how to coordinate uh, your drawing uh, with other disciplines. So if I'm going off, I think I'm gonna, let's see, what is that? That's a, let's do this. I think I'm going to come here and then reduce. Let's see what size that is. That's one and a quarter. So I'm going to reduce this pipe to a one and a quarter. So I selected and went to my. OK, so I'm going to do this. And instead of coming here, I'm going to go out as uh, I think that I'm going to, so when you click on the pipe, you click on the pipe and then you can keep the integrity of the fitting um, like that, okay? Because otherwise, if you choose the fitting, if you choose this fitting and delete it, it the integrity of the pipe is, is gone, right? I think you can drag this over and it should be okay. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to split this. Let's split so I can see what's going on. Uh, I'm going to go to a 3D view, turn off my select. I'm going to go to a 3D view and see what's going on with this piping so that I can make the correct connection. I think that it's going to be, let's, let's do our, our, um, lining system. I'm going to line this up. Uh, let's turn off the mechanical for now because it's in my way. 
So I'm going to line up this pipe with this pipe so that I can make the riser okay, connection. And we're going to align this pipe and that pipe. Now I know that I have the right alignment. And from here, I'm going to go to my three-dimensional overall. And let's see, do I have hot water on? VV filters, hot water. Yeah, okay, so that's the system that's on now. Uh, let's go back here. Oh, it's cold water. Hold on. <laughs> let's go here, filter, cold water, turn off the hot water. Okay, so we can look at this reference again and see where we are. Okay, so we are here. Now yeah, it makes the sense. So I want to shade and then reset. Take, erase your pipe first, right? Erase, erase your pipe first and then the fitting. And it looks like, uh, let's, let's do this. I'm going to um, extend and then fill it. Extend, fill it. Okay, so that's what that looks like. Let's go back to the first level. Okay, so that's what's going on. I can delete this pipe because it's not connected to anything anymore. And control so that I can get the rest of the pipe. Yeah, that looks good. Now, um, so what was I doing? <laughs> uh, let's go back to mechanical, turn on our links, and then we're going to route our hot water, okay? Yeah, so it looks like there's a little space in here. Uh, I'm going to bring my hot water from here. Create similar. I'm going to go here. What's it? One and a quarter. And up here. Okay. I'm going to connect this pipe, this hot water pipe, to that hot water pipe. So that's a nice fitting. Okay. So on the first level, I'm still in the ceiling space. And I am in the ceiling space at 10.8. And this duct, let's select. Well, I'm using my tab key, and the duct is above. So it's at 12. It's a little over 12 feet. So I can go under. One and a quarter, but that's too big. Well, I'm going to keep it like that and let Revit size everything up, okay? I'm going to go here. I'm going to go just a little bit beyond and go down. So what I need to do is change the my view, right? So uh, let's just, let's, let's go down here. I'm gonna go I'm gonna erase this because that was used in one of the demonstrations so we go here get our reference go to that view let's get it again because it's it just has to reset itself okay so uh, let's get get it so that our views our laboratories are in view with our pipe that we're gonna go down we're just gonna finish right when you're in the ceiling space and you're going down to these water closets or whatever fixture it is, you don't want to go past the fixture. Uh, okay, let me let me show you. Let me show you this. You don't want to go past the fixture because this is just using more piping, right? So you come down. You don't want to go down here. You want to go up here. Okay. So I'm gonna be above my uh, plumbing fixture my sink, my laboratory. And I'm going to change the orientation of my section view so that it's looking west. I'm gonna just go in a little bit and bring this guy in a little bit. And let's go back to the section view. And so we can see that we're gonna be above the each, each of the uh, laboratories. I'm gonna go back and so everything looks good in terms of uh, piping. Let's come back over. So I can do the same thing. 
on the left side. Let's come here. Let's just make sure we're not running into anything. I think that this, my hot water is at 10.8. I think it should be at 10.8. And cold water is at 10.6. Should be at 10.6. So that I'm get, I have a little bit of an offset when I go over my cold water piping. I'm gonna just kind of leave it about right here. And I'm gonna do the same thing with my view where I go down and supply my lavatories, those three lavatories with hot water. And we go here. I think I'm gonna need to rotate this. Okay, and then again, let's, let's use, let's rotate place Let's go about right here, okay? And then go up 90. So now, oh, I'm down too far. That's okay. Let's uncheck that. Okay, that looks good. So we're going to get our hot water and bring it down, not past my water my my plumbing fixtures okay so we're going to go to section view where you have it referenced out the only reason i click is because a lot of times all of this section view is crowded with information so usually you want to get into a habit of of uh highlighting what you what you're gonna what you need to the pipe that you need to focus on okay so here, if, if I don't highlight it, right, if I don't highlight it and I look for it, it's kind of obvious, right, that this is, this is the pipe. So let's see, what's going on over here? Okay. Um, but at other times, when there's a lot of information, let's say this is the section view, right? And we're looking at, and we're looking at a section view this is why you need to highlight your pipe or your duct or whatever it is in your, on your plan view. If you go into a section view, if you know your section view is, has a lot of pipes and all kinds of information on it. So that when you do go to that section, it's highlighted for you. and You're not searching around, where's your pipe, or where's this or where's that. Okay, so let's go back to the section. And I'm going to bring this down to right above. Okay. So we're going to do the same thing. Let's turn off. I'm going to turn off the mechanical because it's in my way. I could turn off the architects too. But I'm going to leave it alone. So we go here. And we're going to rotate here. And it would be a negative 90 or... I like to use this rotate tool like this because it gives me better control of where this, the section is. Let me go, let's, let's go back, let's go back. Let's undo this because, okay, one more. You see, if I click this and say rotate negative 90 here, negative 90, you know, where's my section? It's over here, but a lot of times it's it can be out of view. You know, I got lucky that time. That's why I like to use the uh, the reference reference tool if I'm gonna rotate. So I, use, I, I like to use this reference tool and center of rotation here, and that way it stays in view of what I'm doing. Okay, it just stays there. It doesn't go anywhere. It doesn't go off to the left or right, up or down, out of view. Okay, so let's undo that and let's look at our piping. Let's get a reference section and we can go down. What, what am I doing? Okay, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> let's do that again. Reference, negative 90. Okay, we can come over, and we are almost done. 
here, we go here, and we can go over here. Okay, now let's go back to one, and let's look at this information. Okay, what you can do, I'm gonna do this one, this first one, because I think that it's gonna block, block this other pipe so I'm not going to do this connect into this time. I'm going to do a fillet and let Reva do the rest. What size is this? One and a quarter? <laughs> let me, I'm just going to bring this down. I'm not going to do it on the other five. Uh, one and a quarter, one inch. Uh, I guess that's okay. And let's do a fillet. Fillet one, fillet here. And the rest of these I'm going to connect into. You choose your um, fixture and connect into. And I'm going to use, there's two options. I can use hot water return or hot water. And I'm going to use hot water. And choose this pipe. Okay. Same for this guy. Connect into hot water. Yes. Connect this pipe. Okay. Same thing on the other side, but see, the, with this, I think this one might be okay because the hot, this is a hot water return. This is the hot water, so it might be okay. I think this one's going to be okay. Choose connect into hot water. Yes. Yeah, okay. You see? Connect into hot water. Yes. And we're here. And the last connect into okay and yes okay so everything should be okay and I should be getting a uh, fixture units and GPM yeah I got fixture units and GPM okay so next what I'm gonna do is go up to the second level and figure out how I'm gonna do that <laughs> I think I know I'll, I'll, I'll use this piece to, to go up, but I'll do that the next time um, I make another video. Okay, guys. Well, I hope that helped, and I will talk to you guys later.